How's it going? So in today's tutorial, I'm going to be working on an oval shaped stone because I know not all of us can find those perfectly round stones. So um, I just want to show you that you can do this design on pretty much any shaped stone. You just want to go ahead and put yourself on some sort of base coat. Now I'm using black, but you could use any color that you like. And you do want to make sure that it's good and dry before you move on. Now these are the colors that I'm using in today's tutorial, but I will list them down in this video's description below. And here are the tools that we will need. These are out of my tool set and a few nail stylus. So once your stone is good and completely dry, um, I'm going to go ahead and use one of my 16 slice stencils. Now this stencil just takes out all the guesswork and makes nice quick work of drawing on your guidelines to keep your lines nice and straight. Now I'm going to go ahead and draw on the center um, where I will put my center dot and then I'll just go ahead and grab some uh, purple paint. Now this is a multi-surface paint but you could just use what you have on hand. And I'm using my dark purple tool to get my center dot on. Now I didn't draw on the guidelines until after the center dot is good and dry and then I will recenter my uh, stencil on there and then go ahead and draw on your guidelines. And hey if you're new to my channel be sure to hit that subscribe button for lots more Dot Mandala art tutorials. All right, so I'm going to be drawing on all 16 guidelines here. And I just love how these stencils are so flexible. You can just kind of bend them right down and around your stone and they just form right to the stone for you. This first ring here around the center dot is going to be um, with a paint called Golden Yellow. And I'm using my size two nail stylus dotting tool. Um, and I'm just gonna be putting on a crisscross and then just kind of follow that guideline. Each of the guidelines, just kind of follow them in. Oops, got a little paint there in the wrong spot. So just follow the guidelines in and make your dot closest to that main center dot as you can without touching it. And then go ahead and dot right in between each of those. So there's going to be a total of 16 dots in this first initial ring right around that center dot. All right, the next paint is called Wisteria. And it's a really light purple paint. And I'm going to go ahead with my white tool from my dotting tool set. And you just want to make sure that you get the end of the tool nice and completely coated. And we're just going to be doing pretty much the same thing. You just want to go right in between two dots, right on the outer edge. And just, again, follow your guidelines. Now, I'm not going to be putting 16 of these. I just go with eight. And now this is my very smallest nail stylus, so I call it a size one. And I'm just going to try to make... Um, little teeny tiny little swipes like little birds or little V's. So what you do is you just take your dotting tool like you would if you were just going to make a dot. So dip it in paint and then hold it down and just push out like you're drawing like, like you would with a pencil. And it should just make a little V. I just kind of go right around the curve of that dot there. And I do that right in between each of the eight dots there. And if you want to skip that step, that's perfectly fine. You can just skip it all together. It's up to you. All right, the next color I'm using here is called Wild Grapes. And it's a lot darker purple. And I'm using my pink tool. And I'm just going to be putting a dot right above each of the little V's that we drew there. Now, I wanted to get um, a little bit of a lighter yellow here. So I'm mixing um, some of the golden yellow paint in with some white. And I'm going to be using my light purple tool. And I'm going to put a dot right in between, like on the outer edge. So don't try to pull it down too far in between those purple dots. But just kind of like out on the outer edge there of those previous dots. 
Now this paint I did forget to show there in the beginning picture. It's a gold paint uh, by Folk Art. It's called Bright Gold. It's a really pretty gold. And I'm using my white tool. And I'm just kind of filling in some of the space there right in between those, uh, those darker purple dots there. All right, and again, I'm going to be going um, with my size two. So this is my second to smallest nail stylus. And I'm going to be going back with some just plain regular white paint. And what you do is you dot the first initial dot, and then you dot all the way around that big dot there. And then you re-dip your tool, and then go ahead and re-dot that first initial dot there in the center and then dot all the way down to the base of the other side. And these I just like to refer as just like a little bridge. And just go ahead and do that to each of the light yellow dots all the way around. You just want to hug right to that larger dot. And it doesn't matter how many you get. Um, just try to fit in as many as you're comfortable with. This is my size 4 um, dotting tool. And I'm just going to be doing it the same process again here with that same light yellow paint. So just make your first dot, dot all the way down to the base of one side, re-dip your tool, re-dot that first initial dot, and then dot all the way down the other side. Now your dots will get smaller on their own. It's just the nature of this particular tool. It's a little ball on the end and they just get smaller. So you don't have to change the pressure in which you're pushing. They just will get smaller. And again going with that same size number four. And I'm going to be going with the straight um, golden yellow color. And I'm going to be kind of doing an opposite, um, an opposite end here. I'm going down into the little bridge with my first initial dot. I dot out about three or four dots, and then I re-dip my tool into the paint. I re-dot that first initial dot, and then I go up the other side about three or four dots. So it's just kind of a reverse of a little bridge. It just gives a nice little effect something different. All right, the next color is called Princess Purple, and it's pretty much um, a purple right in between the lightest one and the darkest one that I'm using today. So going with my light purple tool, I'm going to go ahead and put a dot right in between each of those yellow bridges. Okay, go ahead and grab that light purple wisteria paint, and I'm going to go with the size 3 nail stylus, and go ahead and we're just going to be doing little bridges right around those larger purple dots. Do that to each one of those. And then I'm going to grab my size 5 nail stylus, which is my largest. Um, and I'm going to be going back with the darker purple color. And I'm just going to be making a little bridge right over top of the previous little bridge. So building out the petals here. Okay, grab your pink tool and go ahead and get the gold paint back out and put a dot right in between each of the little purple bridges there all the way around. This gives it a nice little shimmer. All right, and I'm going to be using that medium shade of purple, um, the princess purple, and this is my size 5 nail stylus. And I just go straight out from the golden dot there, and I just kind of put um, a backwards bridge over top of the, um, the little purple bridges there. And I don't dot all the way up to the tip, but you can if you want. I just dot about in a 3-4 up, and then I move on. Feel free to pause this at any time and catch up with me. 
going back with the gold and I'm going to do that same process and then this time I'm going to retouch that first initial gold dot and then dot up the other side. And I really just did that on the, um, the two ends just to kind of expand that pattern out. So I only do it to the four. And then I'm going to fill in that little bit more space with that really light yellow that we mixed up at the beginning there. And that was with my white tool. Now you want to make sure that this is nice and dry before you try to top dot it. But I do think that these top dots give a nice amount of depth to the piece and I just love a little bit of sparkle. So I'm using some Gold Mother of Pearl by Martha Stewart. And I'm just going to put a top dot on each of the really light yellow dots there. Um, with that, with that uh, Gold Mother of Pearl. And it really, really shines so pretty. It's really hard to capture on video that I noticed with my lighting and stuff. Uh, but it was absolutely beautiful. I love this color. Um, and then the next one is called Eclipse. And it's also a Martha Stewart pearl paint. And I'm going to go ahead and put a top dot. Just a little smaller with my pink tool. Um, right on top of each of the larger purple dots there. So I don't want to cover the whole dot. You want to be able to see a ring of purple around it. but And I do the dot right in the center as well. And that's it. And let that dry. And then make sure you don't forget to remove your guidelines before you varnish your stone. And it's a nice little egg for you. I hope you love it. And if you do love it, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And definitely do leave me a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you think. Did you like this tutorial? What would you like to see me cover in a future tutorial? Or even just what color scheme would you like to see? Hey, thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much and I will see you soon. Bye now.